Hello everyone. So I'm gonna continue the gameplay of Silent Hill, The Short Message. And I think I have some thoughts about the story so far. But before I do that, I'm gonna start the game right away. <laughs> I'm gonna continue from here. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the previous video, you can find the link in the description below. Uh, so my thoughts so far, I think this girl, uh, Anita, I think that's her name. This girl, Anita, uh, she is responsible for my suicide. Uh, and what? Pregnancy test positive. Oh, this changes everything. I think Maya was pregnant. That's, that's why we have the uh, photo of that guy or the sketch of that guy in the sketchbook. Okay, I think she was pregnant and I think Anita is responsible for her suicide somehow. But let's find out. Let's find out. Let's uh, keep going ahead. January 31st. This is my diary, by the way. I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my gravity, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning? Probably not. We have clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Okay, so Maya was probably in love with some guy. And that's why... The girl in this picture is Amelie. Oh, this is a lot of teenage drama going on here right now. Ooh. Interesting stuff. The library. So I'm back at school. There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Where was it? That book. Do you think that Maya was pregnant? Okay. Need to find the book. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. <sighs> no way. It's an it's in her locker.
I don't know what's with the book though. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? I've never seen a layer like that before. You're right, Anita. You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, but just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Let's find the locker. Which one is it? Maybe over there. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? It won't open. Hmm. I need to find the password. It might be here somewhere. To be honest, I don't know. I have no clue. Anyway. Uh, what? Liar. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Blades? Okay, so I see the numbers now. Three. Two. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. That's too obvious. Let's try. So three is the first clap, first combination.
three. There's the other door. Uh, I think two is the last one. So three, one, two. There is one number that I'm missing. here there's a number that I'm missing ah zero zero three one two zero three one two okay zero three What's inside? Book. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us, didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty... seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just... me and you. Maya... She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... attention to me. Who is 
I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> They just got really interesting. So I really think she was Anita, the person that we are playing as. She was jealous of Emily and Maya. And I think, I think she is a little bit, um, she said something to Maya. It's all your fault. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm not. Same place again. supposed to do she was right in front of me are you here to punish me I think I can do it this 
run, run, run. Maybe she's already dead. Oh boy. February 4th, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. Part of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little breezy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or do something? Spooky. Okay, nothing's here. Man, so I think Maya's dead already and we are just trying to play her. We are basically playing her as her soul and trying to get out of the building to get to the freedom. Don't you dare go outside. Yeah. Don't you dare go outside! Where 
Where should I go? What's there? Oh boy. Let's watch TV, you know, watch some comedy movie. What am I supposed to do? That's her mom and her. Oh, okay. Over there. Diary of Single Mother. 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I will never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Cute little angels. She had a sister? So Anita had a sister and it's the living room again. But now we have more drinks in there. Maybe she was eating a pizza, enjoying herself. Oh boy, it's getting stressful. February 10, 2012. And my new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take, talk, take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22. My daughter drew a picture of our family we were smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She's slower than other kids of her age. I'm sure she will catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. The sound of beautiful doors. Love that. April 2012. Oh, this is March. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22, 2012. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they will finally see the light in him. April 12, he told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, Everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I will never see him again. Great. What am I supposed to do now? I'm giving up my life for you!
me and I. Everything seems to be going well now that we have been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids. So he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I have been going out so much lately that I have left the place in a bit of mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some noisy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15th. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with that? I'm done. What's going on in the closet? There's a baby. Stop! What the fuck? So she had a sibling. Miss Krista Plan Planner. We have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remaining the issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631 Section 2. Accordingly, the Federal Court has interest, instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Oh my god, what's going on with the kid? This is the closer. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of the death. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. You just obeyed me again! Man, this is messed up. You can just stay in there! Stay in there.
Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh no, not again. So I'm supposed to go right and then right again. Everyone blames me. So dark! Run, 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 please run.
so hard to remember everything. Like, It. Just keep going. That's her stupid mother chasing her. Run, 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 please run. Now what? Where am I supposed to go? Oh man, come on, I'm so tired of this. Run! Again, the same place? Where am I supposed to go? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. What is this place here? What are you hiding inside? What am I supposed to do now? Come on. Where am I supposed to go? Can't see anything. Ah. Of course, the same thing again. What is that door? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Ah, oh, come on! Is she laughing? 
Man, I'm tired of this place. Just keep going straight. Fuck. This is the same place again. This is I'm so lost here. I think I have to go straight ahead. What? Oh, not here again. Come here. Honestly, I'm so tired of this. I think this is where I have to go. But what's next? Maybe I need to find this door with keys. What's here? Oh, come on. Give me some sign, where I need to go? Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Okay, okay. Okay, so from here, I need to find a door. Two what? I'm stuck here. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, so I think I got it. I need to find the photographs 
and then I can unlock the door. Once I find all the photographs, I can go ahead. The door will be finally unlocked. There is all this stuff. What the fuck is this place? Great, this is just great. You're way too hard, and I'm dead. Now what am I supposed to do? What's that? 
Don't be sorry, just run. What am I supposed to do now? I think there's one more photo left. But where is the photo? Oh, it's unlocked. February 21st. I have been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jump off the villa roof. I like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free for my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that crippled me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up? The thought makes me skin the thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about this. Oh no, March 13th and approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Mayo Ako Heidenberg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Gothenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of the death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait, she killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? What? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Is this me? When did she draw this? to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me.
and this I already died. Am I supposed to go out now? picture I drew. Is she alive? Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward. 
and never look back to 18-year-old me. Oh, wow. So that was a good experience. Uh, my opinion, I think like for two hours, this was a good experience. Um, it's more about like life lessons. It's more about like seeking help when you think uh, there's no one around. I think your support circle, you should talk to your support circle. But again, like very good game for two hours and I liked it. But thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna hop off now. Moving day. Oh, wait a second. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Okay, so uh, Anita is going to the college with Emily. Okay, thank you for watching me. If you haven't sub subscribed, please subscribe. And to see other videos, you can go to my channel. And thank you so much. Have a good one.